David Dietz, David Barnson, Christina Potts Nevelis, and Ashley Webster, all with us today. Got to start with Jeff Bezos' very public battle with the parent company of the National Enquirer. Let's go with the financial side of this. Will it have any impact on Amazon stock, David Dietz? It's certainly not a positive. I mean, when people get on the Amazon website and they're getting ready to buy a book, are, gonna, are they going to think about this and say, eh, maybe not buy the book? Um, on the other hand, the concern is, does this distract Jeff yes. Bezos and does this cause him to take the eye off the business? It's not a positive. What's your opinion, David Barnson? Does this affect the stock price? No, it doesn't. That's my opinion. Total noise, great story, great reality TV, great drama. In other words, Perfectly fit for American consumer society. Absolutely no impact on fundamentals. Okay, okay. You make me feel yeah. uncomfortable even covering the story here, David. But uh, let's move on. Stocks went south mm -hmm. yesterday when La Larry Kudlow uh, made some comments about China trade here on the show. David, back to you. Looks like trade is still the big factor which will move the markets. I think this market moves where there's any kind of leak or headline about China trade. What do you say? Uh, well, I think that this is actually the most impactful story to markets in terms of where this ultimately goes. There's nothing right now on a macro sense now that the Fed is somewhat sidelined for the foreseeable future than the China trade war issue. I don't agree that the particular comment or any other comments that come as we go need to be concerning to investors fundamentally. In other words, the idea that there's a pause or that they haven't had a call or they're going to have a call and those kinds of things, I think, are the noise that accompany the process, Stuart, and I get it completely. But fundamentally, the, the uh, issue has got to be that both sides need a deal. Yes, exactly. And I think people need to manage yeah. the risk of the fact that something could go really wrong but there shouldn't be any expectation on February 8th with the March 1 deadline that they've already done this or already right. done that. Good point. We know where we're headed. And unless we get word that, in fact, things have totally fallen apart, I remain committed to the idea that this administration will get a deal done. I'm with you. I actually agree with that. I think the pressure is so great on both sides. Mm. Get something done that something will be done. But that's speculation on my part. Let's get to the Apple stories, two of them. A security flaw with a live photos app discovered while they were looking into that FaceTime bug. And the company comes down hard yeah. on apps that record user screens. I keep thinking of Apple's billboard in Vegas. You know, that yeah, one oh, said, yes. what happens in Vegas stays, stays in, in Vegas, Vegas or something. Uh -huh. I'm, we're going to put, there you, go. there you go. What happens on your f iPhone, iPhone stays on your iPhone. Okay, really? got that one. <laughs> is, it gonna, is it going to hurt Apple stock? What no. do you say? I think this is a bigger story, too, when you look at really? how often it keeps on coming Does up. Does it hurt the stock? I don't think so, because I think we've already as a society accepted the fact that these companies have been eavesdropping just like Amazon Echo. So that's the reason why it's just yeah, going to continue no, like look, this. We expect okay. our data almost these days yeah, not exactly. to be private. So people are all numb to it. Okay, but I think one. it underscores the bigger risk for all of these mega cap tech players. That in fact, even t yeah, I mean, Tim Cook is right in the vanguard taking the high road. We respect privacy and so forth. Even he is not respecting privacy, not perhaps due to his own fault. And that just pushes the momentum for some regulatory change against these companies. Just yeah. like the the Europeans are doing right. Absolutely. Right. Could, be, could be the case. It's, it is a negative, I think. I right do. So it, so check the big the board. Term, We're right? uh, oh, sorry, oh, no. four and a half minutes into the session. We're down 110. All right. Look at Mattel. Yep. They're making money with Barbie. I wish I had some numbers on this. The stock is up 22%. Yes. I don't have the number, but that's what I'm told. What do you got? A sales for Barbie hit a five-year high. Hot oh. Wheels, though, aren't the only ones. They did. were up 9%. What's not doing well is American Girl. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's all Mattel. Right. Yes, all Mattel. Okay. Barbie, sales up. First Five okay. years. Okay. Yes. Now, the other side of the coin is Hasbro. Obviously, that's another toy company. Their profit fell short. They were down pre-market. Now they're up a buck. Yeah, because they couldn't find places to put, you know, I mean, you know, with Toys R Us out of business, they couldn't get enough locations to put their toys out. Okay, I'm following up on Chipotle, which was a huge mover yesterday. It went straight up. I think it hit 600 bucks a share at one point. Mm. Uh, backing off to the tuna, just $1 down today, at five eighty-four. All right, the price of oil this morning, not making much difference to the market, the stock market, 52 bucks a barrel. The price of gasoline keeps edging up 228 is your national average. I'll still take it. Still cheap. Amazon reportedly has invested. Ah, here we go. The Amazon effect. They've reportedly invested in a self-driving startup. Hey, David Barnson, that to me is a problem for Tesla. What say you? 
Oh, I suppose in theory, the, uh, the entire existence of competition is a problem for Tesla because they have not made any money when they didn't have competition. <clears throat> so therefore, when they do have competition, that sounds like <laughs> a really bad thing to me. Yeah. Now, I would be more concerned about the known competitors coming on with BMW and Porsche and Mercedes. There's plenty of established infrastructure car companies that represent a bigger threat to Tesla than startup speculative endeavors out of whether it's Amazon or Apple or whatnot. Okay. But I think it does speak to the overall problem in that sector. Yes, Stuart. I should point out that Amazon's down close to 30 bucks, and that takes it down to the mm. $1,500 level. Mm. Taco Bell offering free delivery, okay, for a limited time, but free delivery. Yeah, this is, for, you, for you gotta deliver. Dollars, yes. Minimum. Okay, but you gotta deliver. That's the name of the game in yes. all aspects of you, life. You gotta deliver, but the problem is these intermediary apps are taking more and more of the margins and so forth. And so the good news is there, stuff is able to be delivered. The bad news is Taco Bell, McDonald's, these others are making less for these purchases. Yeah. That's it. That is exactly right. It's a bit like the hotel industry. Yeah. yeah. Expedia booking, gets in the yeah, middle. They take a they slice. Take a booting, they take a slice. Amazon the, with the books. I'm in the hotel business and I know what it's all about. Yeah. It's a real, real problem. Okay, uh, moving on to uh, Netflix. They just bought a film about Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Might be the most ever paid for a Sundance documentary. Um, I think, though, Netflix will make some money on this one. Probably. Well, I think they will. But, I mean, politically, it's a good move because it's going to keep AOC uh, uh, not tweeting about Netflix. And that's a good thing. But the other thing is it underscores the fierce competition for content. And the more Netflix pays, it's going to be tough. What you got? $10 million for this movie. It's cost, called Knock Down the House. And like you said, she resonates with the younger demographic. She's all over social media. I think this will do well on She's Netflix. The darling. She's a rock star. Ah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I, I don't understand. How, how can they spend that much money when we have climate change and we have all these problems in society? I would oh. think AOC would be livid oh. about this. I'm shocked, Bonson. Sarcasm is a low form of wit, and you know it. Okay. Very <laughs> <Moving on. laughs> effective. There's a Dow component, it's called uh, Home Depot, cutting mm. four underperforming units from its installation business, layoffs around the country. That's interesting. Home installation, mm -hmm. Home Depot pulls back. I thought we were all renovating everything. So it is not surprising. Mm -hmm. We've seen the slowdown in the real estate market due to the higher interest rates, and people are less likely to do a home improvement project if they don't see their property going up in value. So I think this is to be expected. The question is where we're going from here on this. Okay, I must, before we close, I must get back to something that I mentioned on the air earlier. Mm -hmm. I have never, not, well, not in the last 40 years, I've 40 never years. ordered home delivery of food. I don't do it. Why? Because he can't. cooks. No. no, no, I don't. I can't stand waiting. You don't I like just, to wait? I just don't like waiting. It's as simple so as that. So you would rather go out, Absolutely. pick up the food and bring it home? Yes, or open the fridge and take out whatever's in there uh -huh. and eat it. Throw it in the I'd microwave. rather do that. Barnes, am I crazy? <laughs> Uh, no, but you know, one thing you can do if you don't like waiting, Stuart, is order an hour before you want to eat, and then it kind of all works out. I mean, there's a way to solve that, my friend. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> it may be a generational thing. Will you please talk with my kids about not ordering out all the time? Okay. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Bring them on, son. Bring them on. Okay, it's 9.40. We're out of time. You can no longer call me crazy. Hey, Barnson. Low yes, form of wit, sarcasm. You remember that, okay? <laughs> Beats, you're all right. Yes, sir. Bring your kids to me, okay? <laughs> I'll sort them all out. Gentlemen, thank you very much.